I hope that you've all had an opportunity to view the Rhino 5 for SketchUp users video. And right now I'd first like to explain a couple of the things that are shown in that video. One is the whole notion of change degrees. And if you look at the manual, um, changing surface degrees, it's all based upon polynomials, which probably will freak out a few of you. But the simple explanation is that there are three different choices when you do the change degree command. Degree of 1 is just for altering points for a straight line. Degree 2 allows you to have two control points, in essence creating an arc, or actually three control points. And then degree 3 provides four control points. And let me show you exactly how that manifests itself in a Rhino model. We'll create three surfaces, and we'll do these quickly. Uh, the one thing that you'll, you've probably found out is that the free version doesn't allow you to cut and paste, which is why I'm making these three separate surfaces. And what we'll do is, for each of these, do the change degree. And the very first one we'll set at 1. We can just hit return to repeat that command, similar to AutoCAD. Um, create uh, two chain, uh, degree for the second one. And for the third one, we'll do the three a value of 3 for the change degree. So for each of these, hold down the shift key and select all of these, and we'll turn points on. And you can immediately see what happened here. We have the four outside control points for the first one. We now have sub-control points in this second, and we have multiple control points for this third. So, what we can do is click on control points and begin to move these and, in essence, warp our surfaces. But you can see in this case, the very first one, we're just simply changing those points. It's drawing a straight line in between the adjacent points. In the second one, we can actually adjust the point in the middle and create a mound. And in this last one, we can pull up really all four of these control points. They get hidden by the other surface. But you can see how we can create a depression and a mound when we have those multiple points. So again, uh, change degree command this is a change degree 1, change degree 2, and change degree 3. The next function that we'll play with is some of the Boolean functions. And to demonstrate this, we have an ellipsoid and a sphere. And I'm just simply going to align these objects one on top of the other. And we're going to, in essence, create a depression for a seat in this surface by using this sphere. So, we have these positioned, and all that you need to do is simply come over to the Boolean functions, and you can join these together, create a difference, um, intersect and break this up into multiple pieces, we're going to do a Boolean difference, where we simply select this bottom piece as the part that we're going to subtract from, the sphere that we're going to subtract with, and you can see what happens here, where we now have this object with the circle subtracted from it. And you can play around with different forms, um, as well as joining elements together but explore some of these Boolean functions. They're very, very useful.
The next piece that we're going to demonstrate is cutting or trimming the edge of a surface. And we're going to create just a very simple curve. And a similar type of Boolean function here is a wire cut. So we select this line, which is what we're going to cut with, and then we select our object that we're going to cut. And just simply project this across. Hit Enter. And you can see that this surface has now been trimmed according to that surface. So you can begin to sculpt lots of different elements using these types of tools. So explore the Boolean functions and enjoy yourselves today.